Kayla's basically what we expected this is what we got no joke with their breaks and it's not even funny like you can't just get up and say i'm going to the restaurant that time you're like a complete stranger when the break is over then they can't smell like bonjour and then all that so have like this way of affection hey as the bus can be full everybody's struggling to breathe and you are now what holding yes, hands and kissing please a Ghanaian coming from a Ghanaian <laughs> home excuse me <laughs> Fine day with this place. Oh, <laughs> hey, loves, how you doing? I'm fine. So, today I'm taking you to one of my favorite places in Poitiers. So, stay tuned. <laughs> we made it. The bus is not yet here. In this country, we'll teach you how to run for the bus. Shay, <laughs> Shay. Okay guys, see you later. Alright loves, so this has to be one of my favorite places here. It is just beautiful, especially during summer. And I just love how serene the atmosphere is. And I'll say the one thing that I love about France is you know the access to parks like free access to parks because you know in Ghana some of these parks you'd have to um, pay um, an entry fee and all that and it's, it's just beautiful just look ugh, look at this so this is just like a little tour of the place and let me tell you something interesting <laughs> while we look at the place so um hmm. One day, I was extremely tired, right, and I had to go grocery shopping. And so, looking at the time, I was going with my friend Aduma, who you see in a bit. Looking at the time, and then the bus, I was convinced that we're not going to make it, so let's just wait for the next one. Aduma was like, no, we can make it, and whatnot. So we came out of my residence, and you know, there's, um, <laughs> there's a bus stop, but then there's, you know, a bit of a distance. <laughs> guess what so we're walking and then we saw that the bus was coming you guys i was exhausted my feet were hurting i could not run <laughs> it was like nah run nah run <laughs> i was trying and my entered the bus i was right behind the bus the one did not stop <laughs> so now you know what happened what i was going to do she had to drop off at the next stop just look at this and i had to go and meet her there <laughs> I have to really do a compilation of, of <laughs> I'm sorry, of my funny experiences. It was just so funny that the, she had to drop off and I had to you know, walk to the next stop to meet her and we took the next bus. Just look at that. <laughs> Anyways, enjoy some cultural shocks. So this is a very beautiful view. My residence is somewhere there. <laughs> I'll show you. But right now, in the moment, Aduma and I are about to let you know some cultural shocks Ooh. we experienced and um, basically what we expected versus what we got. <laughs> so, Aduma, yes, ma. what's come? Come closer. Okay. <laughs> what are some of the cultural shocks you experienced? Number one, the smoking. <laughs> yeah. Yes, the smoking like they smoke literally everywhere, everywhere any time, any day, any hour. No break. Like within an hour, the number of times someone can smoke. I'm like, are you not going to take a break? Like, yes, and they actually do have smoking breaks. So at work, at school, everywhere, they take breaks to smoke. And I just find, you know, as a Ghanaian, if you smoke, you are, I think you are going to hide to smoke. Yeah. You cannot be standing at the market or somewhere smoke in the yeah, open. and be smoking. So, experiencing this, like we're told, but then experience, oh my god, experiencing it for ourselves, I mean, it's kind of crazy because, like, everywhere you go, yeah, like you can't even get a breath of fresh air. So it's always like you'll be at a bus stop and someone will come doing this, like you have a lighter. A lighter, yes, and smoking right in your face why please <laughs> okay. so number two the french people do not joke with their breaks Breaks. and it's not even funny like it's really cool but some other times it's, it can be annoying especially when you have something to do 
so see even if you want to go to the restaurant you can't just get up and say i'll go to the restaurant yeah, they open yeah. at a certain time so let's say maybe from 12 to 2 yeah then they'll close they'll go on break sorry yeah and come back like in the evening 5 p.m. 5 p.m. some restaurants 6 p.m yeah yeah that kind of stuff so within like 2 p.m to 5 p.m <laughs> if you are looking for food at a restaurant now nah, unless it's fast food, fast food yeah, or something, or something. Yeah. they actually do not joke with their breaks and even if like it's a shop you are going to buy something and they are on break probably their shop attendants might be there but then because their break is not break over they are not going to attend to you at that time you're like a complete stranger when the break is over then they come smiling bonjour and then all that so they actually do not joke with their breaks at all so even within the year as in an academic year there are some designated periods for break so it can be one week or two weeks that's actually cool i mean yes. <laughs> they don't joke don't with us at all Ghana. no once you start the semester you are staying there <laughs> so the semester, so is, the semester over. is over and i actually think the breaks are very helpful because you know you get to relax you know rewind rejuvenate and come back travel if you want explore, explore places. places and all that so i really think it's actually a cool thing yes and also like the summer break like this there are lots of places that are closed even there was one time there was a restaurant that was closed for summer break and i was actually shocked like this is the time you are going to make money but then that restaurant is actually very popular yes <laughs> they always they are always they are always fully booked. booked so i think yeah it's 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 a nice way and they don't joke with the applicants at all always you know making their best of it they know how to enjoy the workers and it is nice <laughs> it was really really nice so yes so another thing is public display of affection hey why oppressing the single <laughs> just anyhow. like it's very serious you can't literally be in the midst of people in the bus the bus can be full everybody's struggling to breathe and you who are now what holding hands and kissing please like holding hands is not even okay. a problem yes kissing it's normal kissing and smooching and all of that as a Ghanaian coming from a Ghanaian <laughs> home excuse me you can't do that that's in public <laughs> so i mean it did come as a culture shock like i said earlier we were told but then expressing it for yourself is like a different thing altogether yeah because it's very serious like it's just very very serious mm -hmm. <laughs> you mean right where we are hmm. you know there are some people park. oppressing us over here <laughs> relax take it easy okay <laughs> <laughs> so yes that was very very much um very much what everything everything <laughs> <laughs> everywhere in the train in the bus just so another thing is the strikes it's something i actually did not expect yes there are strikes in ghana when we came here i didn't think like the european strike is on another level yeah mm. even though it's not so what wish that is it's, it doesn't match up to like when Ghanaians mm. have striked over here it's like everything is calm yeah and all of that Some calls, right? yeah, but i think i have a video uh, i don't know if i have the rights to <laughs> insert so you get to see what um we, we mean talking about. yeah but then they actually do have strikes and then when they strike everything stops no yeah, buses they working the they block the roads there will be some days you can't even go to school because they have blocked <laughs> the access to school and so like everything just stops if you have to go out when the strike is very difficult you will work yeah. hey, you will work no buses, no buses. there are buses if, yeah, there are just buses. a few just a buses few. will be working so you have to be dropping off at points you're not supposed to drop off and continue your journey on foot mm -hmm. so i just think it's just kind of the way it affects everything it's not really good but i understand them <laughs> how else would that would they, would they get their message across yeah, so yeah i actually do not expect the strikes and then it's actually you know frequent and he expects that but i think it was only frequent from january to maybe april yeah, yeah, we'll but after, yeah after that we haven't we doesn't yeah anything like that mm. so yeah the strikes we actually did not expect but it's cool i mean <laughs> so we've come to the end of today's video yeah yeah these are the few cultural shocks we decided to talk about i feel like the rest are normal mm, like yeah. they are normal everyday things so, so no need yeah. to bring them up yeah and we've had 
really funny experiences over here very very funny but that will be in another video yeah. another story time coming up like real soon it's been very funny <laughs> and um yeah i wanted to see something but i've forgotten but yeah the only thing though is that we're not getting the foods we're used to yeah <laughs> so yeah. it has actually been challenging at that side but then we just got used to it so yeah it's the meals we're having here were kind of one week yeah we're eating jollof like every single week oh, five. <laughs> it's not jollof rice and stew but I, i've been really like the fries so rice burger just jollof pasta mm. stew soup once in a while you see because um this is a francophone country so you don't really get um the local ingredients that much yeah something like contemporary yeah it's not even, even though there are african shops over here yes. like you, you are not going to find everything that you as want as a Ghanaian that you want more of the ivorian yeah. togolese vibe yeah so it's been we okay survived. we survived i mean <laughs> so we'll see you in the next video please if you have not subscribed please what are you waiting for okay <laughs> subscribe, subscribe and like this video you can share and then you can also leave a comment if you've ever lived abroad what are some of the cultural shocks you experienced we'd like to hear from you and if it's <laughs> funny we'll would laugh about it and all that so let me know your comments your thoughts and we'll see you in the next video bye, bye. <laughs>